you just upgraded to your new MacBook with the M1 chip. And you want to install some of the programs that you previously have on your old MacBook. And when you start installing your programs, then this shows up. You don't know how to enable the system extensions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. All right, thank you for everybody that is coming into the video. This is a really short process, it's really easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna shut down our computer. So we're gonna shut down our MacBook or our Mac mini. And we're gonna do the following process. We're gonna hold the power button for around 10 seconds until you're gonna see the screen. This is the options and boot up screen. And we are gonna select the option screen so we can jump and get into the safe mode of the MacBook. Now we're gonna wait for the loading bar to finish and we're gonna go into macOS recovery. We are gonna be prompt with a tab that has our user. We're gonna select our user, we're gonna click next and it's gonna prompt our password. Now we're gonna click continue and we're gonna be in macOS recovery. If you go to the top left, you're gonna see the Apple logo, recovery, file, edit, utilities and windows. We're going to go into the utilities tab and we're going to click where it says startup security utility. And if you're finding value in this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So you don't miss any other video like this one. And also give a like and share this video. So more people that are having the same issue can find this video. Now we're going to see the startup security utility and we're going to see all the drives that are connected to our computer. On the bottom right, we're going to see security policy and we're going to click it. Now we're going to be prompt with the security features of the M1 chip. Apple doesn't allow any third party app to be installed into their MacBooks with the M1 chip unless you go through this process. And that's why we are doing this. Now inside the security policy, we can see that we got two options. We got the full security. That is the one that comes already predetermined by Apple with the N1 chip. And we got the reduced security. That is the one that we're going to select to be able to install third party apps that are developed for Apple products. Now for most users, we're going to select the allow user management of kernel extension from identified developers because this is the only one that we're going to need because we are installing our own apps. Now, if you have somebody that want to remotely install the apps, then you have to select also the second one. But for most people, it's only going to be the first option. Once we have finished our selection, we're going to click OK. And once again, we're going to be prompt with our user password. We're going to put our password. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to wait for the security policy to be applied to our system. Once it's finished, we're going to go to the Apple logo and we're going to restart our MacBook. And that's pretty much it. Once I have rebooted the system, I'm going to go and install my app. And you're going to see that I'm not prompt anymore with that error that says system extension needs to be enabled because now it's actually enabled for third party apps. Now, once we log in back into our desktop, we're going to see that everything is the same way we left, but now you're going to get a prompt that says that the system extensions has been updated. Once you see this message, you're just going to click OK and just going to go through the normal process that you previously used to install any app. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos on my channel, go to the list that you're going to see right here at the end of this video.